Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, today I'm having another look at Matt Gaffney's weekly crossword series um, in which Matt sets puzzles that have meta solutions, which is a solution that kind of goes beyond or into the puzzle itself. You have to kind of guess what he's thinking and come up with the answer based on something in the puzzle, either long answers or something else that you, you can possibly get clued into. Now, these get harder during the month, as I've mentioned before. So this is week four, May the 24th, um, of a five-week month. So it's going to be pretty hard. Um, and I'm not going to sit through the clue-solving process here. Let's just have a look, first of all, at the puzzle. Um, character development, it's called, by Matt Gaffney. And here we get another kind of clue. This week's contest answer is a six-letter word that's a group of characters. Um, worth sort of looking to see if there are six answers of a certain length. Um, if you look at the across answers, this one here, 17 across, is eight letters, which is longer than the norm. Um, and obviously it's counterpart at 65 across. Then after that, there are two... Two pairs of seven-letter answers, 29, 31, 48, and 50. So there's a fair chance that those six will be the theme entries that give each a letter somehow to contribute towards the group of characters. But who knows? So let's have a look at my solution grid anyway. Here it is. Um, and as I say, I'm not going to take you through the clue-solving process, but the one clue that really stood out as interesting given that we're looking for a group of characters, was, in fact, the clue to that first suspicious across answer, 17 across, which was group of characters, the answer to which was alphabet. OK, so none of the others, as I say, really stood out as significant. Um, and looking at those other long answers that we looked at, maybe stare at, has area hidden in it, sorghum, Crop, who's two largest producers of the US and Nigeria, Bar Menu, Bronchi, and Pyroxene. I mean, they're not, they certainly didn't suggest anything to me as a group immediately. Um, but Alphabet, what are we meant to do with that? Surely that's significant. Group of characters, Alphabet. Well, what it did make me think of after a while, certainly not immediately, was maybe I should be looking for characters of some alphabet. So, I mean, we could first of all look at what letters of the alphabet are being used in this puzzle. Clearly there's an X here in that pyroxene. So there are some interesting letters or characters being used in the puzzle. I think this application has a way of um, telling us how many letters are being used. Yes, look, here we go. So Hmm, there's no J's, no V's, no Z's. So it's not a pangram or very close to it. One W, one X, a couple of K's. Not that interesting a letter distribution. Normal numbers of A's, E's, O's, and R, S, and T. You know, nothing particularly significant there. So maybe it's a clue to another alphabet. Well, the one that crops up most often is the Greek alphabet. And obviously that itself has supplied alpha and most of beta for the word alphabet. So there's an alpha there. Um, took me quite a while, but eventually thinking about these other seven letter answers, I noticed that at the end of bronchi, there's the C-H-I, which is another Greek letter. I'll call it chai for these purposes, although there are other pronunciations. Um, so how many other Greek letters are there? Well... Not that many. I think normally you'd find a lot of hidden Greek letters in a grid this size. But in fact, this time, there's new at the end of bar menu, which is quite a similar position to the bronchi. Um, there's tau in taunt up here. Um, and I think there's, oh yes, there's mu in clam up. And I spotted those five. And then thought, well, I probably kind of need 
at least one more if Alpha is going to count as one. Then I suddenly saw that 19 across car hop has row in the middle of it. So that is quite suggestive. And a bit of further scanning suggests that only those six letters, only in across answers, exist as possible Greek letters in this puzzle. So what could that mean? I've got Alpha, Rho, Tau, Mu, Nu, Chai. Now, if you kind of transliterate those in order, you get A-R-T, which is promising, M-N-C-H, which is far from promising. So that wasn't all that good. So what else might be going on? Well, it took me a long time after that point. I mean, I, I feel I'm on the right track, although far from certain. But bar menu. Bar menu is a kind of odd choice. Why would you choose bar menu to put NU in? And what can bar menu be like? All the others, if you take row out of car hop, you've got cat. If you take alpha out of alphabet, you've got bet. They're kind of words. You've got clap. So that was promising. But bar menu leaves you with B-A-R-M-E, barmy, which isn't a word, barmer. But if you put an N on that, you have got a word. So that kind of involves replacing new with its English equivalent, N. And now you get barmen. Now, what else can we do that to? If you replace the M, the mu in clam up with an M, you get clamp. Um, if you replace the row in car hop with an R, you get cop, you get a bet. These are all words. That's quite interesting. And for taunt, you get TNT. And now that suddenly recalled me to the clue for octol at 56 across, a word which I'd never seen before and which was clued as explosive material. And it occurred to me when I was solving that, that any time you see explosive material in an American style crossword, the answer's TNT. Well, if you replace tau with T, You've got TNT, so maybe explosive material can act as a clue for TNT too. And then I discovered something I should probably have seen a little earlier. That Let's just scroll down a little here. 17 down, was it? No, I can't remember what the clue number. No, 17 across is alphabet. And the clue number, sorry, the, if you replace alpha with A, its English equivalent, you get a bet. And at 28 down, for the answer comfort, the clue was AIDS partner in a legal phrase. Now, I didn't know the phrase comfort and aid or aid and comfort, but I do know the phrase aid and abet. So if abet is the real answer in a way to 17 across, well, you've got its clue there at 28 down. So now I'm on to something. So that's good. So where's there a clue for clamp? Well, tool in a woodworking shop, which originally gave rasp. OK, so now we're definitely doing something. Now, what about bronchi, which was where I first spotted the chai? Well, if you replace the chai with it, the X, which is its symbol, you get bronx. And there's this clue, word on New York City borough maps, which had originally given staten at 71, but can equally well clue Bronx. Well, that's a little unsatisfactory because X has a Greek equivalent of Xi. So Chai isn't really the equivalent of X. And I thought, it must be right, but I think maybe the compilers made a mistake there. Yeah, we'll see about that. Now, what was going to be the clue, the original clue for barmen? Well, I hadn't spotted this at the time, but... Um, where was it? It was quite early on. Yes, four across. <laughs> Beautiful clue. Their work days may include pictures and a nightcap. And that was umps, which I kind of recognise. Well, I, I recognise half of it as a baseball reference. Pictures are involved in baseball. A nightcap must be some sort of baseball slang, but I didn't know it. But of course, barmen could be involved with pictures of beer or water and a nightcap, which is a drink order. So everything's got a different clue. And now the one we're left with, I think, at this point, is car hop. Well, I'm replacing row with R, its British, its English equivalent, and that gives me carp. So there must be a clue that can kind of relate to fish here. 
21 across, eater of small crustaceans. Wow, that looks like it's done it. Okay, so what am I going to do with these clues that I've found that are relevant? And the first thing I would think of doing, luckily, looks like the right thing. However, it doesn't quite work. And that thing is to look at the answers that those clues gave. So for this first one, a bet, the answer began with a C. For car hop, if it's this um, eater of small crustaceans, it begins with an A. Then the third one is um, to, yeah, this, this uh, TNT taunt where the clue for the explosive substance was for octal, which began with an O, so C-A-O. Then clam up um, the original answer to the woodworking tool was rasp, C-A-O-R. Then we've got the bar menu, and it was originally umps, so that's U-C-A-O-R-U. And bronchi was, give, Bronx had the same clue as statin, so that's an S. C-A-O-R-U-S. Well, that's not a word, but it is very like the word chorus. And could chorus perhaps be described as a six-letter word that's a group of characters? Well, yes, it could. And I checked that in Wikipedia, obviously a Greek chorus and that's appropriate for the Greek alphabet, was kind of the, the characters on stage who provide the counterpoint to the antagonist or whatever. So it looks like chorus must be the answer, but I must be on the wrong track with the eater of small crustaceans as the clue for carp. So what I then looked at, there are only three answers beginning with H in the grid. We've got Heaney, Hirschfeld, and Heirloom, I think. So Heaney... The clue was to Seamus Heaney, which is, oh no, to do two different um, authors. Death of a naturalist author, Seamus, or Holy Tango of Literature author, Francis. Well, I knew Seamus Heaney. That clearly can't be a clue to another word. So we can forget that entirely. Then the long one down, Hirschfeld. Al, known for his newspaper illustrations. Well, I knew about Al Hirschfeld, um, who was the cartoonist who originally used to introduce his daughter Nina's name into his cartoons. Um, and the other clue, so I, that made me think, was there an Al Carp, possibly, who used to make cartoons for newspapers? And I looked up Al Carp and it wasn't anything. Um, 18 down, now stay with your, your thought if you've had one there. 18 down. Is the only other clue, the family silver, e.g., to which the answer was heirloom. Well, that seems unquestionable. I mean, how could that clue be to something else? And eventually I reasoned, well, it could be. That clue could be uh, to carp in this way. If there was a family of silver carp, couldn't that be a clue to the family silver, like that could be a clue to carp. For instance, one family of this sort of thing is silver. And then I looked it up and there is a silver carp. So I decided it wasn't brilliant, or maybe it was brilliant, but it certainly wouldn't have occurred to me at first, but everything else was pointing in the way of chorus and I entered it as the answer and it was right. However, it was not right for the right reason. So let's go back to that bronchi business, where I didn't like the X that we had to use to make that into bronx. Well, if you replace chai, not with its English equivalent, but with its Greek letter in capitals, you get an X. And that gives us bronx there. And that's what you have to do. So when you replace rho up in 19 across, you don't replace it with R, you replace it with P, which is what a capital rho looks like. And you get cap. And what I didn't know was that Al Cap was a famous newspaper cartoonist. So it's a really clever puzzle and to an extent still beat me. But what a finish. What a remarkable construction. And I mean, that's only week four out of five. I think that's a really complicated finish with very little pointing to the correct answer. I was delighted to kind of get it. I don't really, although I had an error in the how I'd got there, 
um, I think I got to the right answer in largely the right way. So I'm not too unhappy about that. But it may not all go well for a week five coming up. However, I just thought you'd like to see how that solution worked and how clever people could be. I mean, remember, this puzzle solved as a perfectly good crossword puzzle. None of the clues that were special stood out like the clue to even to comfort. They didn't stand out as wrong or for the wrong answer, but they were all perfectly worked. I even thought the family silver was rather brilliant, but <laughs> that wasn't cluing what, what I thought. Um, wonderful puzzle. I mean, my, my hat is tipped to Matt Gaffney for creating these, and that's a lovely one. So just an interesting bit there. Uh, maybe if I eventually get through next week's week five, I'll make a video about that one day as well, but we'll see. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, do subscribe, sponsor us on Patreon if you can. We'll certainly be back with more content about puzzles very soon. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.